Hey, welcome to another episode of Broke Gamer. My name's Andy, and uh, this week I'm talking about Guilty Pleasures. Now what I mean about a Guilty Pleasure is very simple. It's a game that is okay. It's not a great game, it's not a crap game, but it's a game you love. Now, looking back for other, I haven't got the largest uh, collection of games, but the ones I have got, I've actually singled out and I kind of, uh, games that I really wanted only because I just enjoyed playing them. Um, some of them are not the best games all, uh, all round, and some of them, uh, they're, just, they're just good. So, uh, with further ado, let's just start off uh, with the Nintendo Entertainment System, the first uh, console. And uh, what we got, I, I would say I have Tetris. Now, uh, Tetris, yes, it's a great game. Um, but for some reason, on the NES, I just thought it was one of the better versions. Um, again, I only picked this up for 50 cents. And from that, I uh, looked at it and I started playing it, and I couldn't believe how good it really is. But again, it's just not. It's just Tetris. Can I say Game Boy did it for blooming years. Yet uh, on the old NES system, bit of color, bit of music, and I, I just thoroughly enjoyed playing this particular um, title. Um, yeah. So yeah, the NES. And then going on uh, to my next one, I have. Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. It was a beat em up. Now, it was a th it was a three, uh, well, it was a three player beat em up. And I, again, when I first originally had this uh, uh, game back in the, the mid 90s, I, again, I had a couple of friends. I just remember playing the hell out of it. Uh, the fighting mechanics weren't particularly good. And uh, nothing about it was like, wow, look at this game, it's the best thing ever. No, it was just fun, jumping up and snapping on someone's spine. Um, I just say, uh, again, it's just one of those games that just came out and you just remember playing it and you just remember playing it really, really well. So yeah, uh, Bruce Lee and the Bruce Lee story, Dragon. Now, the next one is actually one I play quite regularly. I don't know why. Um, it was uh, for the N64, it was the equivalent of Wipeout, which is Extreme G. Doo, motorbikes, um, which I really enjoy. Weapons, really enjoy. Fast, frantic music, track layout, all that great blazing graphics. A bitch to bloody well control. But yeah, you just enjoyed playing this one. I just, it was one of those games that I played a great deal of. Um, I don't know, it was just the graphics and everything. It just wowed me for some strange reason. And in that time, I just really, really enjoyed it. I never got around to playing the sequel. And I don't know, I think I'll pick that up soon just to see what this one's, uh, the sequel's all about. But I really enjoyed the first one. And it's one of the one games I did actually go out and buy uh, on its own at a retro game store. Uh, yeah, and the next one, oh, I have a Star Wars game on the N64, which of course everybody's going to probably figure out, Shadow of the Empire. Doom. Now, yes, this game, um, when it came out, I was wowed by the N64 and its graphics going, ooh, look at this, and um, doing the first Hoff level on the uh, snow speeder. Just uh, taking out the Atats, and then you got to the third person shooting area, which is really clunky mechanics. But uh, back then, I forgave it. You just forgave everything about this game, because it was a, a, probably one of the first, at that time, decent Star Wars games that have uh, come out in uh, 3D. Um, that uh, console players can pick up and again it's just another one of those games I, I have fond memories of and I occasionally pick it up now and again um, just to have a little uh, play around but yeah Shadow of the Empire next uh, it was actually on the Dreamcast now looking about this I haven't played too much of this game and considering I've only had a Dreamcast for a couple of months now but uh, I kind of look at it and I've uh, done a little uh, reading into the whole thing, but it's uh, ready to rumble. 
Um, again, it's just one of those fun, arcadey style uh, boxing sims. Not even a boxing sim, is it? It's just an arcadey boxy game. And uh, it was just fun, frantic. Controls were pretty good at the time, and they still are. And great graphics, just fun to be around. Uh, it was just one of those games uh, I played a good, quite a few hours on it when I picked up the Dreamcast. And yeah, I really enjoyed this game. Uh, it's not the best boxing game by far, but it's just fun. Let's face it, it's just fun. Next, I have a Nintendo GameCube game. Dun, dun, dun. I have Def Jam Vendetta. Sorry, Def Jam Vendetta. Now, I'm not into hip hop. Eh, I, I don't even know half the people on here. Um, but uh, I'm not really into wrestling games either. But for some strange reason, this game brought it all together. Um, I think people, uh, I remember playing it um, when I had the PS2 version. I got the uh, GameCube version here and I just I just thought it was just fun to play around. Um, it came really easy. The controls were just easy yet deep enough to actually uh, get into. And uh, yeah, I just really enjoyed Def Jam Vendetta. Next, uh, again, Hey, it's another game I've got on the Xbox. Now, again, I only had an Xbox at Christmas, but uh, I had mainly, I bought this game because I remember the PS2 version. Now, this game, Ghost Recon. Now, when you look at this game, now, on the box art on the back, on the PS2 version, the graphics were terrible, what I remember clunky and yet oh and the draw distance was terrible everything but yet the gameplay the gameplay was awesome the squad dynamics actually finally controlling your people and taking out a target and that's why i enjoyed it and now the xbox version a little bit better on the graphics um but uh, again spot on controls and i again i just love playing this game <laughs> And lastly, I have a PS2 uh, game. Now, this game, I have actually put a lot of time in. I have no idea why. I just, uh, again, <laughs> stupid thing to say, I just enjoy the damn game. But this is definitely one of my big guilty pleasures. Um, when I got uh, my PS2, this is one of the first games I went out and got. Now, it is Kendo, Master of Bushimi. Um Again... Graphics, okay. Again, general uh, gameplay itself, clunky controls, sounds pretty bad. But yet, somehow it got me hooked. Building up my character, trying to uh, get past the uh, particular dojos, and uh, just playing through, and then you get finally getting a sword, and getting blood, and you know, killing people in a couple of strokes. I just thought it was a really fun... Uh, game aspect uh, that uh, many games don't play um, so I really enjoyed this game and I still play it uh, in fact uh, I was playing it the other day and just knocking away um, again uh, then uh, the edit of the combos everything I just really enjoyed this game um, again I, was, uh, I think there's a sequel I may look at it I don't know but uh, I say the original one I just Stupid. It's definitely a guilty pleasure of mine. Now, all the games I've just had plenty of uh, guilty pleasures in them for me. All right, maybe uh, may not for you. You may just hate them, or you may love them like I do. But uh, if there's any guilty pleasures you have in your collection, please uh, write in a comment uh, or like, uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm trying to build this channel up, so please, uh, yay, thumbs up for me, and uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully see you on the next video. Thank you.